our day usually starts off about 5.15 or so with the alarm clock going off and head over to the football field, which might be, I don't know, maybe three or four hundred yards away. We'll warm up and go through all these exercises and some are a little bit difficult, especially for a kicker. Like this. I'm not quite as athletic as some of these other guys. And, and then we go to about six different stations and get our tails kicked for three minutes apiece. And then we'll usually head over to the Duck in the Downing University Center and go grab some breakfast. There's always, always fun, fun stuff going on over there in the morning. And I'm from Bell. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my God. I have Paige. Yeah. Where you at? Paige. You guys are from Bell? What is the odds of that? These little girls from Bell County. 9.30, we start heading up the hill. And who does it? Who builds a freaking college on top of the hill? It's like the only hill in Bowling Green. And that's uh, Astronomy 104, with Professor Bo Husky. Study guy for tomorrow. Well, some of the comet squads are like 40, 50,000 AU from the sun. You have no service. In this area. So much more natural to do three. Oh, I know. Because two, you feel like well, you're jamming you everything get, in. You can get like a little bit of, you know, jab step. Yeah, yeah. you can get a little momentum going. I'm trying to kiss me one. There we go. One for three. Kickers and punters and long snappers, we go out and spend an hour or so on our own, just working on our specialist stuff and getting some, some reps in. And... Go! Yeah! We go in for workouts, and that's, that's our weightlifting. We're completely dead by the time, by the time your, uh, your weightlifting session's over. Friday is, is kind of like the dreaded day right for the weekend. That's when we, we have stadiums, which is running up the yeah, upper deck. Yeah. Physically one of the most difficult things I've ever done. I'm here and this is going to make the best of it and as of right now I love it here and I'm glad I didn't make any other choice but here and I'm glad I hope everybody in Bell County is wearing red by the end of this season.